All right, so we're here in Lancaster for this event that I've been posting all over my Instagram. I kept saying all over my story, don't be late. And here I am like 30 minutes late, but at least it's not my event, you know? I'm just, I'm just making an appearance. Imagine I was a rapper showing up late to my shows and shit. I didn't think it was gonna be this hot, but I mean, we're in fucking Lancaster, so I guess I should have assumed. I'm gonna set up this board, hopefully meet some cool people. Fucking get it. Sorry I'm late, I had to take a fucking shit in my house before I left. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, what's everyone up, pulled bro? out, bro. Hey, he's got the late club shirt on. Ah. <laughs> These ones are fried, thank you, bro. <laughs> Should we go in the park? Actually, it's kind of shady right here, it feels nice. It's all hot over there, huh? In the grass. <laughs> hey, I want to like crowd surf. I want to stage dive, who will catch me? Into the ball. Nah, actually, they're like this tall, bro. Of course they're ass. I got you, I got you, I got everyone. Alright, never mind, I'm not signing your shit. Remember when I used to dream about this life I live. Now I'm the man they show my hands, I got no fucks to give. Trapped this on my mind, I went through some shit that I'll never speak. Now these kids look up to me, I can't show signs of being weak. Even when I played the bitch, I knew that I was MVP. Yeah. Where the fuck you went out and shit? Bro, where's your parents? Hey, I don't condone it though. I'll sign it, but I don't condone it. But you know, make your own decisions in life. You shoot? That shit look musty, bro. Sign my dollar when you're next. I'll sign it if you smell this. Can you sign my titties? Jesus Christ. I've been the animal like every day. Jesus. Every fucking day. I probably muted you, bro. Oh shit, what the fuck? Yo, what happened? That shit broken. Eh. You should heat up like a needle and like pop it. Oh. Uh. Can you sign this? Arm as well? <laughs> we'll say, can you sign this? <laughs> It'd be a fucking honor, bro. Why is it popping out? <laughs> <laughs> One time I was in Five Guys and a bunch of skaters came in and they all took off their shoes in the middle of the restaurant asking me to sign them. It was kind of gross. Hey, my guy, bro. Should I shotgun it? Bad, bad. I got my sprite. Dude, that shit fucking hurt. <laughs> Dude, I'm like crying. That was good. Oh, where's the gloves? 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 A majority draw. What? 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 Hey, I lost my earring. Holy shit, bro. I just came out of nowhere. Thank you, dog. Hey, I lost my earring. Am I wearing the one on the gay side now? Yeah. Fuck. I just shot him to Sprite. Hey. All right. I think I, I think I did pretty good. Yo, my bad. I'm filming on my iPhone right now because I did not expect to vlog today. But there's this kid who watches my videos and he's from Sacramento and he's down here in Ventura. And he keeps blowing up my phone to come to the liquor store that I filmed the other video at. And I just happen to be in Ventura getting a smoothie right now. So I'm gonna go pull up on him because he seems hella fucking excited, bro. What up, what up? Taking a picture? Yeah, hey, you're by yourself? Yeah. Oh shit, you just been chilling here? Yeah, I've, oh my fuck. I'm gonna bro, just keep driving. What the fuck, bro? I, I can't even make this shit up right now. Oh my god. All right, let her on, bro. I just can't. What's up? Oh I don't even have my camera. I didn't expect to film anything. <laughs> the only reason I saw your DM it's because you commented. commented. Yeah, 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 you commented. I, I figured it because like today's my last day in yeah. Ventura. So oh, shit. I figured if I just commented, then you'd, you'd see it. So you're from Sac? I'm from Sacramento. Hell yeah, bro. What's your name? I'm Jacob. Jacob? Hell yeah, bro. All right, wait. Oh what trick you got first try? Oh, fuck, man. I started in February, so I, I, I got like an Ollie's on my All right, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yes, sir. You came to like check out the liquor store or what? Are you just I, stumbled across it or what? I saw your video because it was like two weeks ago. Yeah. It showed the liquor store. I was like, oh, that's the same one that I was at. 
<laughs> so I went to it today because I was going here uh, like a week before, yeah. and like all I had in my mind, I was like, I need to meet Brian Annette. I told all my friends, I DM, they're like, they're texting me like crazy right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's dude. right, fuck yeah, bro, I appreciate you. Yeah, can I get a picture with you? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So there's something that I've never shown you guys. At the end of last year, when I was filming for my street part, there was a trick that I tried that was not in the video because I didn't land it, and I got fucking buckled, bro, like hard. And the reason I took so long to put out this footage is because I wanted to go back and land it eventually, but it's now like six months later, and I have no desire to go back to this stair set i don't know how many of you guys paid that much close attention but if you did notice there wasn't a single ollie late shove in the part i mean obviously there was a ton of fucking variations it was called better late than ever but i didn't have my go-to trick in the street part which is just the ollie late front shove and the reason for this is because i had already done it on the triple set a few months prior so everyone was just expecting me to up myself they were thinking i was gonna go to fucking hollywood 16 or el toro and my body just does not take impact that good bro like i can't really skate anything bigger than like 12 or 13 stairs so there was this one specific 12 stair that i knew about but you skate it over the rail and since I'm goofy a late shove would have been kind of alley-oop for me So I was like fuck it I'll do it I want this clip and it was already getting close to the deadline of my street part So me and Josh headed to the school and I'll just show you guys the raw footage because I don't really want to ruin it by talking through all of it Fuck Ugh. Like I'm going for it, but fucking I'm like expecting the impact a little sooner, so I'm not like prepared to fucking land on my board. Oh, don't fuck me up so bad, bro. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Bro. So that attempt right there, you can literally hear my head just fucking smack the ground, bro. Run it back, run it back. And then you hear fucking little TJ playing out of my pocket. Bro, I'm the only person that I know that plays music off their phone out loud in their pocket. I don't know. I didn't think it was that weird until people started pointing it out. But sometimes I just I just don't want to wear headphones, you know? Or a fucking helmet, apparently. Shit. I go on to say something about helmets right now, bro. Everyone in the comments, that's why you should wear a helmet. <laughs> All the Karens, huh? That's why I don't make fun of anyone that wears a helmet, bro. They smart. It's just not my thing. I'll take that slam any day. But yeah, a question I get all the time is what was your worst slam? And this has got to be one of them, bro. Like hitting your head is no joke. Your brain is not something to fuck with. That's why I mean in all seriousness, like I do not judge people that choose to wear a helmet. I know I personally make the choice not to wear a helmet, so it's going to sound pretty hypocritical when I say this, but it's super fucking important, bro, especially if you're a beginner. I've been skating for about like 12 years and I've learned how to fall. Like there's a proper way to roll out of it to avoid hitting your head like I did right there. But yeah, like I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do and what not to do, but all I'm going to say is for the people who are scared to wear a helmet because you you think people are gonna tease you at the skate park all I'm gonna say is if you do end up hitting your head which is bound to happen at some point in skateboarding those people talking shit to you at the skate park about wearing it are not gonna be there in the hospital visiting you so honestly just who the fuck cares what they think bro just do what you want but yeah in this situation I was lucky enough to where it wasn't that serious and the crazy part is I kept fucking trying the trick after slamming my head after hitting my head on the ground that fucking hard I got back up a few minutes later and kept trying it
As you guys could tell, I was pissed the fuck off. I was in so much fucking pain. I don't know how I went for that long. Two heel bruises, constant hot pockets, smashing my hip against the ground over and over. And then to top it off, smacking my head against the ground. I give myself props, bro. Like, that's pretty fucking impressive. Like, you could tell I really wanted that shit. But the thing about that is, I don't want it anymore. Like, I wanted it that day in the moment, but I did not want to have to come back and make a second trip to try to get that trick again. Like, it would have been sick for the street part, but it's just not worth it. Like, I do late shoves on every single obstacle. Nobody's really gonna be surprised if I do it over this rail or at least that's just what I've been thinking since I put out the street part I'm sure a lot of you guys would be hyped to see me go back and do it But it's just something that I gotta want to do like I gotta wake up one day and want to go back to this spot and feel that fucking pain again And get my revenge, but I just don't see it happening like I already had my battle with the triple set It's got to be a different trick bro. Not another late show like I literally don't care about this spot and this trick anymore That's why I'm making this video It was also just a huge mental battle just to commit to the trick and get both feet on it Like I had to get deep into my head and fucking hide myself up a lot and then I think I cracked my board on one of the attempts so most of them were with a snapped board so that wasn't helping at all but yeah just wanted to get that off my chest thank you guys all for watching shout out to josh for being there and filming and being with me through that fucking battle bro but i mean let this be a lesson to you guys you win some you lose some don't be too hard on yourself if you can't get that roll the way that you want and if you guys haven't already make sure you guys follow late club on instagram which is my merch i'm finally gonna be dropping new shit at the end of this month so stay tuned peace out fucking love you guys appreciate all the support bro why the fuck bro my fucking camera's like broken you guys can't see the screen, obviously, but you can fucking hear that shit. This shit's fucking ass, bro. I usually get the, the strawberry banana, but I got fucking mango banana. That shit, oh, that shit's not hitting, bro. <sighs> but my fucking head was hitting the fucking ground, that's for damn sure. Okay, um, peace out, I'm not funny. <laughs> so I'm trying to change my tire, and I'm, I'm pumping it up with a jack. And I was like, why is this taking forever? And then I realized that I have it under the fucking bro.